What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and before I get started, I want to give a shout out to Tristan Bass and the Pepper Palace Pearl. Located at the outlets in Pearl, Mississippi, Tristan invited me out to come out to view the facility and take a ride through Sample Town of some of the amazing spices they have. So after that, we put our heads together, came up with some great ideas. So this is part one of several of our Pepper Palace haul and our Pepper Palace taste experiments that we're gonna do here on the channel and show you guys how amazing these spices are that come out of this place. So let's reach to our grab bag, no particular order. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna pull out, uh, let's say we're gonna pull out five items, we're gonna talk about them, we're gonna sample them, we're gonna talk about the seasoning, the flavor profile, and what we possibly do with it. And then from that point on, you know it's gonna be content on content on content. So let's get to it. First one out the bag. Boom. This is Honey Rub That Butt by Pepper Palace. Now, the great thing about this spice, um, besides the awesome graphic art on the front, uh, when tasting it, it has an amazing flavor profile. It's good on the honey, it's good on the paprika, it's good on the color. Um, as with all spice house, we pop the top, we pop the seal, and we show you what it's all about on the inside. You can see there, very nice color on the inside of there. Uh, you can see a lot of the dark brown from the honey. So for you, the viewer at home, put a sample in, we'll throw it back and we'll talk about what we taste. As you can see, balance after a good shake. Let's throw it back and see how it tastes. Now this is a little bit more on the sodium side, so I would recommend only using it by itself. Great on the smoke, great on the pepper, and overall an amazing, amazing flavor profile altogether. Uh, zero calories, all natural ingredients. So yeah, that is Honey Rub That Butt by Pepper Palace. Going back into the grab bag and see what we get. This. Chesapeake Bay seasoning. Now, Chesapeake Bay seasoning is something I thought would be similar to Old Bay. So, um, as we always do with our spice hauls, you know the routine, pop the top, pop the seal, put a sample in hand, and we throw it back. Color looks good on this one. Shake it up a little bit so you can see. Very, very well milled spice. Sample in hand, throw it back. Nice sandy neutral color. Great for crab, shrimp, chicken, french fries, popcorn, salads, eggs, fried chicken, tater tots, corn on the cob. You get the idea. This can possibly go with a lot of different things. So let's talk about what we're tasting. Sodium's a bit high on this one, 240 milligrams, but still not bad. Uh, recommend using it as a only layer. Um, it's very citrusy, a uh, little bit smoky and a little bit gingery. Overall, a good spice. This is Chesapeake Bay Seasoning by Pepper Palace. Let's go back in. Here we have, for all my lemon pepper lovers, pepper lemon. Yes, you heard that right, pepper lemon. Pepper being the forefront of this spice. So, we'll pop the top, let you guys see the inside. You get the rich pepper flake black, and you get a lot of array of different other seasonings contained in this one. As always, you know what we like to do, shake it up, throw a sample back, talk about what we get. 125 milligrams of sodium. Hopefully you guys can see that. Good balanced. The lemon is not overpowering, but it's right there with the pepper. I cannot wait to do some Pepper Palace lemon pepper wings with this and probably squeeze a fresh lemon over the top. It's gonna be amazing. That's number three, pepper lemon from Pepper Palace. Back into the bag we go. Ladies and gentlemen, for all my coffee lovers, we have coffee rub. You heard that right, you get a little bit of caffeine and a lot of love. Let's pop the top. Now upon the first smell, it's gonna wake you up. The caffeine hits you right in the face, it smells good. Good color balance here, a little bit of amber, you get the, uh, the, the the dark chocolatey brown that you get from uh, coffee grains. Overall looks very good. Shake it up, put a sample in hand, see what we taste. As you can see, it's pretty heavy on the, as you can see, it's pretty heavy on the coffee flakes. Not bad. Um, only one gram carbs, 60 milligrams of sodium. 
Just throw it back and see how it tastes. Now I can see this on a pork loin all day. As a matter of fact, this weekend, it's gonna be one of our first tests we're gonna do. We're gonna do a coffee rub pork loin and see how it comes out. Um, it's very evenly battled, a little bit of a kick, great coffee taste, good smoke flavor. Um, this is gonna be one that I'm gonna enjoy. So again, go out to Pepper Palace in Pearl, Mississippi at the outlets, ask for Tristan, tell them you wanna get a little bit of the coffee rub. One more and we'll call it a night for this episode of Spice Hall at Pepper Palace. Here we have What a Jerk, seasoning and rub. So with this one, we most definitely know what we're getting into, but for you at home, as always, we're gonna pop the seal, pop the cap, show you guys what we got, and talk about how it tastes. Now, upon first smell, it is very live. It is full of citrus, ginger, and a lot of other great things inside of a premium jerk rub. Comparing it to uh, another jerk rub we like, which is Malcolm Reed's, this most definitely has a lot more zing to it, in my opinion, on first smell flavor than that does. So we put a little bit in hand, let you guys see it and talk about how it tastes. As you can see, good tan balance, a few salt flakes, nice good grains of uh, everything else. Ingredients, salt, sugar, onions, vinegar powder, ginger, cinnamon, mustard powder, turmeric, and all spices. So you know, jerk's supposed to have a lot of flavor on it when you taste it, so let's taste this. Now, the cinnamon most definitely stands out on this one. I'd love to see what it does in a layer. Rub lightly, probably with a little bit of simple, simple citrus by Heath Rouse. We're gonna see how this comes out. Then we'll do a honey jerk. I'm sorry, we'll do a regular jerk experiment with this one, probably with a little bit of honey as for a variant and see how it comes out. Um, this is our spice haul for today, guys. As we go back through it from left to right, we got honey rub that butt, a little bit of Chesapeake Bay seasoning, pepper lemon, coffee rub, and what a jerk. Go out to Pepper Palace at the outlets in Pearl, Mississippi. Ask for Tristan. Tell him to give you the walk around tour. Tell him to do it the right way. Tell him I sent you. We're gonna get some experiments going. We're gonna get some new flavors into our arsenal, and we're gonna tell you guys all about it. With that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. Tune in for, stay tuned for part two with more from our spice haul from Pepper Palace. And always remember, you too do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.